Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. I want to talk to us about the these and the thous in the King James Version of the Bible. Many people use the these and the thous and the yees as examples of archaic language. Now, no one disputes that there's not some anachronisms in the King James Version of the Bible. You go from 1611 to 2016, that's going to happen. But one of the things about the King James Version of the Bible, it and the works of Shakespeare seek to give us the English language. And that's why there's so few archaic languages or, or words that have changed meaning as well, because it's what gives stability to the English language. Without these pillars of stability, then all of a sudden language becomes fluid. You couldn't have enough Bible translations because by the time you got through translating it, language would be totally different. So it gives a commonality to our language. Getting back to the these and the thous, actually this was the King James translators. This was going out of vogue. It was in vogue in Elizabethan England, but by the time King James came, it was going out of vogue. But the King James translators did it from an honesty perspective and translation. The these and the thous and the yees bring in from the original languages, Hebrew and Greek, whether you're talking to a singular individual or a plurality of individuals. So whenever you see thee and thou, it's always talking about one person, like thou, O Lord. That's talking about the one God. And uh, so thee and thou are one person. Ye and you are always talking about a multiplicity of persons. For example, in John chapter 3, when Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, he says, don't be amazed, you know, so to speak, I say unto thee, singular Nicodemus, ye, everybody, must be born again. And so this is one of the nuances of accurate translation that are lost in almost all translations that are being done in English today. Like the New King James, everything is just you and your. And so there's no differentiation. You can't tell if it's talking about singular or plural. So this would be not an anachronism, but actually an accuracy of translation. So I encourage you just keep reading that good old black book. Let it read you as you read it. Let it cleanse you, give you power. And it still works. God's still using it today. God bless you.